Hi there, how are you? Welcome to Sir Matigo. Please stay with me as I go to the second part of my lesson involving solving absolute value equation. This is the form that I am going to discuss with you. The absolute value of 3x positive 5 is equal to the absolute value of 2x negative 10. The rule is that we are going to put at the left side only the absolute value expression. In this example, we are done. The left side of the equation is already an absolute value expression. We can now proceed to solving the value of x. Just a reminder, the absolute value of a negative number is equal to positive, and the absolute value of a positive number is equal to positive. So we have with this equation, 3x positive 5 is equal to 2x negative 10 and 3x positive 5 is equal to the negative of the quantity 2x negative 10. We can easily solve the values of x. Let's solve. Start from this first equation. 3x positive 5 is equal to 2x negative 10. Let us transpose 2x to the left and 5 to the right. We now have 3x negative 2x is equal to negative 10 negative 5. Performing the operation, we have x is equal to negative 15. The other equation, we have 3x positive 5 is equal to the negative of the quantity 2x negative 10. Solving the right side, we have negative 2x positive 10. Let us now transpose to the left negative 2x and to the right positive 5. So we now have 3x positive 2x is equal to 10 negative 5. Performing the operation, 5x is equal to 5. And divide both sides of the equation by 5, we have x is equal to 1. We have already solved the values of x of our absolute value equation. Now, let us check the value of x if this will hold true to our equation. Let's start with x is equal to negative 15. Let's substitute negative 15 to x in our equation. We now have the absolute value of 3 times negative 15 positive 5 is equal to the absolute value of 2 times negative 15, negative 10. We now have the absolute value of negative 45, positive 5, is equal to the absolute value of negative 30, negative 10. Performing the operation, we have the absolute value of negative 40 is equal to the absolute value of negative 40. So, 40 is equal to 40. Therefore, the value of x, which is negative 15, is correct. Let's proceed to the next. We have the value of x is equal to positive 1. Let's substitute 1 to x in our equation. We have the absolute value of 3 times 1 positive 5 is equal to the absolute value of 2 times 1 negative 10. Simplifying, we have the absolute value of 8 is equal to the absolute value of negative 8. The absolute value of 8 is 8 and the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. This is a true statement. Now we have the value of x which is equal to 1 holds true to our equation. That's it. So we are able to check that the values of x which are negative 15 and 1 are correct. This is your turn to try solving x of the absolute value of 4x negative 1 is equal to the absolute value of x positive 8. If your answer for the values of x is x equals 3 and x is equal to negative 7 over 5, then congratulations. That's all for this. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and bye-bye now.